what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i hope you'll stay so today we are going to learn how to design or create a business card and previously we learned how to create a logo and that is the very logo we are going to use today in creating this business card so if you haven't watched that video i'll link it in the description box below if you don't have an account with canva please proceed to the sign up button click fill in what is required in the form to create a free account without further ado let's get into this so to get started follow my cursor and click create a design and as you can see among the options that we have we already have business card tagged there so proceed to click it and it will call it will open a clean canvas for you to get started now since we don't have graphics design experience well we are going to use what we have and uh, in our, our previous video the logo that we created had to do with food let's go ahead and search for templates that have to do with food okay here we go click on it and it will give you different designs that you can choose from again the designs are available some of them are free of charge and others are for commercial accounts and so let's proceed and find one that might be suitable for this purpose now if you find a template that has more than one page you can just click on apply both and it will be applied as you have requested now after applying both pages we proceed to upload our logo and to upload the logo you follow my cursor here there's an option of uploading content so when you click upload it gives you access to your machine or your phone so you can retrieve your file so this is our logo let's upload it as you can see here the template that we have has it's one that is working with black and gold but according to what your theme colors are you can always adjust that for starters uh, let's delete the name of the restaurant and uh, let's change the background of the canvas from black to white now you must be knowing how we are doing this now when you click on the background you're given this option to change the color to whichever color you would prefer we have different colors available here for you and if you have a a color code that you can use you click here then paste it here to have that particular color code that you want to use in case maybe your logo was already designed by a professional or not let's add our logo to this canvas if you want to enlarge your logo you've got to drag it Mm -hmm. okay i think that is uh, big enough let's position it in the center of the card let's see okay i think that's good enough now let's get rid of this icon we can always recover it if we are interested in it the next thing we are going to do since i am the page is so it's so plain uh let's proceed to elements when you come to element you can type in here background um so as you can see there's that background you can choose to change its color to red and maybe change how thick it is so enlarge this And then if it's still so thick you can reduce it to i always prefer having the background at five and then send backward when you send backward your logo comes to the front mm -hmm. so basically there are different backgrounds you can play around with different patterns that are also accessible free of charge so this is what the second page looks like the one that has all the details because the first page usually just holds the logo and maybe some background or some images let's proceed to start you know customizing the back end now as you can see from our logo 
our color theme is red so let's start with changing the background of this to red mm -hmm. and now let's proceed to find a suitable color that works with red because gold is kind of uh, kind of dim kind of dull so i believe if we mix the red with white it will pop mm -hmm. yes that's a good one so let's go ahead and change every the color for everything up here to white and let me do that without wasting any more time if all right so let's start customizing this okay let me change all these let me change the title now let's say i'm the man managing director at modelicious and again if the the content overlaps you can always just drag for it to adjust and align properly and if you want to change the size of an icon you click on it and drag now we can go ahead and customize put our own contact details now since our business is um our business is a food business i believe we need we need to have a delivery contact so let's choose this icon it's quite big but let's reduce it to a smaller size uh -huh. now it is the same size as the ones that were there so let's change the color to white so it blends as well now let's duplicate this contact and voila you're good to go now according to me the space up here on the business card is not the same as the space left down below so let's try to push this content upper so we can balance the content on the business card all right i think that's good enough now let's come to this icon i think it's too thick let's reduce it to its transparency let's put it at 50 percent and see how that fares yup that is good enough for me that will work for us let's proceed to download our business card you go up here in the upper right corner click on share there you can have the down you can access the download button click on it in this case you're going to download a pdf print so that when it's printed the card doesn't lose any resolution so this is what our business card looks like thank you for watching i hope you learned something and let me know in the comment section below how i did otherwise i'll see you in the next one ciao